Rebel Alliance have exited hyperspace and are launching an attack. Right. They're targeting our Star Destroyer. Stop them. Play all new maps on the Death Star expansion. <laughs> um, so what's your, what are your thoughts on this expansion compared to the other expansions? Well, I like, I, you know, like the other expansions, I do like the, the maps. The maps are pretty cool. I do think that this uh, expansion lacks different game modes. I really like the, uh, oh wow. I really do like the, the, uh, the different game modes. And I, I, I really, I've been saying this since the beginning. By the way, I just became Slave 1, and when I uh, actually picked up the hero icon, there actually was a choice for Vader, TIE Fighter, except it was x out. So definitely, um, we'll see that in Phase 3. And I kind of glanced over at what he's kind of got as far as power, as it looked like he had like, um, a really big, uh, the, the same one that the uh, interceptor has, which is a rapid fire. It also has a shield, and it also, I think, has a. I thought it had a radar. Um, uh, what I'm looking for, a radar jammer, if you will. Um, oh yeah, anyways, the sensor jammers. Going, yeah, going back to your question, I think I I think this is. This might be the best new game type of the expansion. I like the whole space and on foot versatility. This is a very famous and big battle in the original Star Wars. So I think that is a must to have in the game. And I, I enjoy it. I just, I really think that they need to add more game types though. I just feel like just having Blast, Fighter Squadron, and even Battle Station just isn't enough. Rebel ships are targeting yeah. Our Star Destroyer. Stop them. Yeah, and I was, I think I told you, because this morning I, I went down and, and in the past the the expansions and, and things take forever to download. Like I remember one time, I think it may have been for Outer Rim or Bespin, uh, you know, I started, I started the download, I started the getting the expansion ready to go and it took forever and I was anxiously watching the, the little loading bar continue to try to download the, <laughs> the you know the expansion and it took like hours like I remember eating breakfast and taking a shower and walking the dogs and doing all that stuff before this uh, this expansion even even downloaded and I think that's due to the fact that there was a lot of different game modes there was you know a bunch of new content that they added and with this one literally this morning I turned it on started the update and ate breakfast and by the time I was done with breakfast I turned it back on just to sort of see where it was at and it was already ready to go so I think that could be due to the fact that there's only three game modes and um, you know I I agree I think there should be some more game modes on this on this uh, expansion. I also think that you're right on track with, with Battle Station being the most impressive game mode that they have added to uh, all the expansions. I think this is a very, very fun, very in uh, game mode and uh, with a lot of different areas to have fun in. Now you can obviously pick between A-Wings and X-Wings and we've, I've seen people in B-Wings and Y-Wings out here as well. So, I think you can, I don't know if that's a, you pick those up, but, um... Well, it looks like you pick up the Y-Wings and then the Y-Wings eventually come out, kind of like walkers, so... Our destroyer and shields have you fallen. Can't, I know you still can't do that, immediately. but you can. Intercept those you can get. Ships. You can retrieve them. Um, the icons that are hanging uh, around the area, and then they eventually come into play and try to help you with the battle. Okay. And is that the same with the B wings too? You think, or 
I am not sure about the Star Destroyer has lost one of its subsystems. Okay. I would imagine, though, that it's a bad Yeah, um, I definitely got destroyed by a B-Wing and a Y-Wing, uh, in this area of this game. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of the space stuff, like I said. I think it's an interesting concept to take the story from space to inside and then back out to space again. Definitely, because all the other game types are either one or the other, except for Supremacy, which is why I think Supremacy might be one of the best game types in this game. It's 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 just it's it's definitely it's the closest thing that you're gonna get to the original Battlefront. Star Destroyer shields are You can the do anything fight. in Supremacy. From being a soldier, if you find a hero icon, you can be a hero, and if there's a ship icon, you can hop into a ship. And you can even hop into turrets that stand still, and you can take down ships that are flying by, or soldiers that are coming your way. And I think that's a cool thing to have. Rebel scum. They have damaged uh, one of our I think, I think Supremacy is one of the best game types, but this is definitely uh, adding a little bit more of an interest as well because, like you said, it's, it's space and on foot, and it's the Death Star. You can't go wrong with the Death Star. Yeah, and they, they added a lot of stuff, not only with characters, game modes, and, and uh, maps. They added two new blasters, which are HUP contracts, just like the other ones, where you have to do, you have to pay for them with your credits first, and then on top of that, you have to do you have to you have to earn them by doing different things um, you know getting a certain amount of kills with Han Solo or or whatever you know um, so two new blasters and then there's a couple new star cards the uh, there's a the trip mine which I have not encountered yet I don't think and then there's also a medical droid and so it'll be interesting to start seeing these medical droids around and what they'll do. So, uh, you know, again, they've added a lot of cool stuff. And uh, very, I'm, very, I'm very impressed with the stuff that we did get is cool. Yeah, definitely. Are you still sleeping? Yeah, as I'm... This is actually my second time being Slave 1. I uh, didn't last very long the first time, and now I'm doing okay. And I'm actually noticing now that even though you can't be a Y-Wing, you can still attack it. Yeah. They have lost another crew though. Yeah, you can, just like you're saying, you can still shoot the Y-Wings. Yeah, which I, I, I must be... I had a brain fart because I thought for some you. reason you couldn't do that on Walker Assault, but you can't. It's not easy uh, on Walker Assault, but you, you can't do that. And I think obviously that's a, a very good thing to be able to do if you're trying to protect your Star Destroyer. Our capital ship has lost its shield. Yeah. Stop those rebel fighters before it is uh, too late. I'm still interested in seeing how uh, Chewbacca and Boss. Yeah, we may be getting to that point here. Um, there's only like 40 some seconds left of this round, it looks like. And if it we end like up we getting to the point, if we are getting to the point where we uh, get inside, we'll have, have to. Only one cruiser remaining. Finish off. Them. Oh geez, we, I just crashed. All right, so now we're going inside and we have to make sure the rebels do not take R2-D2. That is our goal. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I hope we get to be some of the, uh, the heroes in this this time. That will be fun. 
Or I guess the villains, since we're the bad guys. I just had something very strange in the box. Really? It's cool now. Um, okay. Let's see if we can find some of these hero pickups and we have to protect R2. Ow. It is about to get ugly. Your eyes open. Chewbacca is in your area. Alright, Chewbacca's around here somewhere. Here's a little R2-D2. I bet you wish you were with the Rebels now, little droid. I saw a hero pick up, but... I think I went away, though. I, I, I have a hypothetical question, Eric. What, how would you feel if they, I mean, being that you got to be hard to be to, how would you feel if they had more game types dealing with droids and you having to be the droid? And you had to be the droid? Well, you could be the droid. You could, you know, like this one, you get to be, you get to R2, and you release him, and you get to actually control him. How, do, how would you feel if they had... What would your take be on... Um, oh, Chewbacca just wrecked like me. Um, I... I'm kind of indifferent about it. Uh, I know there are some people out there that are huge fans of droids that, you know, would love to be droids all the time. Um, I, I'm not sure if I would choose to be a droid on a regular basis. Um, I think... The biggest reason why I, I enjoyed being R2-D2 was because I uh, was, was definitely not expecting that to be a thing. Um, droids are cool, but I think if I had an opportunity to be a hero or things like that, that I would prefer that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, I, I do think having the I do think having the option of being a droid. It's different, you know, like you said, I didn't expect you to be able to be r 2 I thought once you went over there to act, you would just start moving on its own, kind of like an extraction where you go know, the right. uh, uh, cargo, and the cargo continues to move. But I think it's out. very, uh, Reinforcement yeah. Way. Drive the rebels back. Pay attention. The bounty hunter Ooh, Greedo has been hired to help deal with the though. rebels. It looks like somebody is R2-D2 seeing if there's a droid icon on the score sheet. Locked oh, down yeah. Area. We need to cut yeah, the so you can off. see, uh, for those people watching, if you look on the right-hand side, uh, down about three-quarters of the way down, you can see that R2-D2 icon next to that guy's thing. That means he's controlling R2-D2 right now. And we are, Very good. We are coming off there and for that droid. trying to Hold guard R2-D2 right now. Got smashed. This is, this is cool. I like this area right here. You got a crash TIE fighter. You got a ship that's in here. This is a rebel ship. High fighter parts Very and pieces cool. everywhere. I think if I fall, I'm not gonna go down there. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Well, now we get to do the trench run. This will be exciting. All right, this should be the Death Star surface, and this should be where we get the option to be Vader's Tie Fighter as well as Luke's X-wing. This is really cool. I like the look of this. Holy crap. Same with pilots. Ah, oh, somebody beat me to the front. I saw the hero icon and somebody 